Tisha B'Av Shechal Yos B'Shabbos and became Nitcha to Yom Rishon Yud Of. And a Bar Mitzvah Bochel becomes Bar Mitzvah in that day. Koton Shen is Gadol Yud Of. What is the Aloha? Does he have to fast? Or he doesn't have to fast? Mikra Din. Or Midin Chinuch. There is a Machloikis Rishonim when Tisha B'Av falls on Shabbos, is it Noheg, the Vorim Shebetzino? An oval is also Betash Mishamita. During Shiva, on Shabbos, is still also Betash Mishamita, the Vorim Shebetzino. So what is the status of Tisha B'Av Shechal Lios B'Shabbos? By an oval, there is an Afkimino, if it's a Avelus Yeshonu or Avelus Chadoshu. If he became an oval within 30 days, that's called Avelus Chadoshu, then he is Noeg, Avelus Shebetzino, on Shabbos, and is also Betash Meshamita. But if it's an Avelus Yeshonu, he found out that his mace was nifter over 30 days ago, then it's called Abelus Yeshono, and there is no Din Abelus Shebetzino, and it's Mutter Betash Meshamito. What is the status of Tishvav? Is it an Abelus Yeshono or Abelus Chadosho? We find a Machloikis. The tour brings down the Rab Yitzchok, or the Rua, holds as a Iser, the Voren Shebetzino. Maram the Rottenberg holds there's no Isra whatsoever. Like says in the Braise, Male al Shulchono Kesudas Shloimo Beshato Eino Moinea Klum. He does not hold back on anything. Shabbos takes away the Avelos from Tishabov totally. So we have a Machloikis. Or the rule, the Marami Rotenberg. The Rosh Paskins, like his Rebbe, Marami Rotenberg, and Shulchan Aruch follows that, that there is no Avelus Betzino on Shabbos Tishabov. The Ramo is Machmir, like the Orza Rua, and he answers Tash Shamito on Shabbos Tishabov. So we have a Makhloik, the Mechaber, and the Ramo. The Mechaber is Matir. The Vorim Shebetzino, and there are more answers. The Vorim Shebetzino. The Mechaber holds as a din of Avelos Yishono, and there are more holds as not a din of Avelos Yishono, Avelos Chadosho, which is not like the Vorim Shebetzino. We have to understand how it says Shayich to call the Churim of the Mikdash Avelos Chadosho. This is something that happened 2,000 years ago. The Yerushalmi says, if the Besamikdash was not rebuilt in this door, it's like it was destroyed in this door. And this needs an explanation. If the Al Shikha Kodosh comes with a very big Chidush, the Be'emes today. The Bayes Shlishi is being built. How? Through our Toiro, Mitzvahs, Uma Asim Toiro. And when the right time is going to be, it will come down to Shemaim, like Rashi says, Beshuchlal from Shemaim down to the earth. But just like the Mitzvahs, Uma Asim Toiro that we do, build parts of the Besamik, the Shlishi today. The non-good deeds do destroy part of the Besamikdash today. Lo sasen ken l'ashem elokecho. Lo yigrimu ma'aseichem l'mikdash sheyechorev. We build or destroy. We have a klal. Ein tzadik bo'oretz asher yase toiv velo yechto. So there are more holds. Even though the Ba'is 
ראשון על שני על אבד לו זישונו, או בנבייס השלישי, that we destroyed daily and built it, I consider a veilus chadosho. Memelo de Ramo holds, there is a din from a veilus shebetzino, like something that just happened now. Ma shenke de shuchonor, the mechaber says, no, we don't see the bes amigdash shel shlisha shel malo. So we consider the tish above a veilus yeshono, from the second bes amigdash, from the first bes amigdash. Memelo, מלא על שולחונו כסודו שלום בשעת ובאינו מונע מכלום. There is no such a thing as דבורים שבצינו. Sunday, there was a new takono to make a city of a tannis when Shabbos takes away the availus from Tishabov. Or, it's a תשלומין of Shabbos. Very possible. According to the Mechaber, that the whole Shabbos, there's no Abelus. Sunday has a new Chiyuf Tanis, and there are more that holds that there is Abelus on Shabbos. Sunday is a Tashlumin of Shabbos. So if somebody was Mechuyuf on Shabbos to fast and became a Nidcha to Sunday, if it's a Tashlumin from Shabbos, he still has to fast on Sunday. But if a cotton was never mechuyev on Shabbos, he becomes a godl on Sunday, it's not a tashlumen of Shabbos, if it's potter midin tashlumen. But according to the Mechaber, it was a new takono, a new fasting, nothing to do with Shabbos, so we don't look at the fact that he was a cotton on Shabbos. So it would be a machloikis between the Mechaber and the Ramo, a pipashtus. But the real nafkimina would be on a siri betebes. The meaning is that three taniyos before the bar mitzvah, a cotton starts fasting the shores. So if a siri beov has no chiyuf, Tanis Mikradin, he considered that the third Tanis, so it's the Siribeov, Shivos Betamus, and Tanis Esther, three Tanis. But if you hold that a Siribeov is a real Tanis, like the Mechaber, then he has to start fasting from a sort of a tapus, that's the first Tanis, the second Tanis is Tanis Esther. And the third time is before the Bar Mitzvah is Shiva Osor Betamus. Comes out, that would be enough Kimino if a cotton has to start fasting from a sort of a tables or from Tanis Esther.